Hello everyone. So in this session, we will see what is a private company, what is a public company, what is listed and unlisted company. So let us first see what is a private company. Now as per section 268 of the Companies Act 2013, the private company restrict right to transfer the shares. Now, in the case of private company, the shareholders do not have the right to transfer the shares. So, no right to transfer shares. Then, limits number of members to 200. That is, The number of members, that is the total number of members or shareholders in the company should not exceed 200. Say if one or more person is holding a particular share, then that will be calculated as one member. Say for example, there is a private limited company and there is a 100 shares, this 100 shares are jointly held by Mr. A, Mr. B and Mr. C. Now even if there are 3 persons, they are all of them are holding 100 shares. So all of them will be considered as one member to calculate this limit of 200. Since all of them are holding only one share jointly, that is 100 shares jointly. So this will be considered as one member for the purpose of calculating number of members in the company. Then, now in this case, say if the employees who have been given the shares or former employees who have been given the shares become the member of the company and even after their employment they continue to be the member of the company then those will not be calculated in this 200 so let us see one example here now Mr. Z was an employee of the company and he was allotted some shares, say 50 shares in the company. Now, he was a member of the company but now he has ceased to be an employee of the company. Say on 31st March 20, he has ceased to be an employee of the company. Then in that case, this employee, Mr. Z, will not be calculated in considering this limit of 200 as a member of the company. Then, third clause is, prohibits any invitation to public to subscribe for shares and not listed in the stock exchange. So, the private limited company is not listed in the stock exchange and it prohibits public to subscribe for shares so general public it prohibits the general public to subscribe for the shares so the, the members of the company do not have the right to transfer the shares limit the number of the members to 200 now say if some of the members are jointly holding the shares then that will be considered as the one for calculating this limit and then say if some employees who are holding the share cease to be employees of the company then they won't be calculated in number of members and this company is not listed in any stock exchange and it prohibits the public to subscribe for shares. Now we will see what is a public company. Now, public company, as per section 271 of the Companies Act 2013, a public company is a company which is not a private company. So, we need to see if there are any clauses of the private limited company that are followed. 
if all the clauses of the private limited company are followed then it is a private company or else it is a public company so what are the clauses of the private company it private company restricts the right to transfer the shares so in public limited company there is a right to transfer shares then a public limited company does not have any limit on maximum number of members whereas in private limited company maximum number of members should be 200 then prohibits any invitation in case of private limited company whereas public limited company invites public to subscribe for shares then public company private limited company are not listed on the stock exchange now public limited company may be listed or it may be unlisted now when shall we call this public company as listed so as per section 252 of the companies act 2013 securities that are listed when the shares of the securities of the company are listed on a recognized stock exchange this is important recognized stock exchange then it is known as a listed company else it is known as a unlisted company now say if the securities or stocks are listed in the stock exchange which is which is not recognized then also it will be considered as a unlisted company so this was about what is a private company public company what is a listed and unlisted company